Hey everybody, this is Bud Brown. Uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you so much for my longtime subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, welcome very much. Welcome very much. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> welcome very much. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you very much and welcome. So uh, what I want to talk about this uh, this video, many people have asked me about my speech, my expressions, my accent, and um, even though I say I'm from California, they kind of like, come on now, hold on hoss. So it, we all have a history, not just where we're from, but where our parents are from, and maybe even our grandparents. Of course, being an American, all of us except the ones that were there when the when uh, Christopher Columbus arrived we all came from other countries but I only wanted to start uh, my parents my parents are uh, from Oklahoma and Colorado and in the 20 well actually thir uh, 30s from 30 well 30s early 30s uh, to to early 40s. In that part of the country, Colorado, Oklahoma, Texas, even Arkansas, there was what they call a huge drought. It was called the Dust Bowl. And uh, the farmers that had moved there, uh, they cut all the grass out and they didn't know that it was going to, uh, if there was no rain, it was going to be dry, dusty, not good for farming. So during the time they called the Dust Bowl, so many farmers lost their farms. They couldn't grow anything, not enough water. And so there was a huge migration, probably the biggest migration in the United States of Americans going from one place to another, was going from that area, Texas, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Colorado, and moving west to California. There's a book about this uh, whole situation uh, called The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. He follows a family that was in that situation. But anyway, my parents came from that area and moved to Central California, which is a big agricultural area. Many people uh, thought that California either got mountains or coast, desert, but there's also a huge, supposedly the, the breadbasket of the world, the great San Joaquin Valley. So being farmers, they settled in that area. And as you know, uh, or I, I believe you know, when, uh, when people move, they bring their culture with them, they bring their language, they bring their food, their music, their style of dancing, and the whole culture comes with them. So with this migration into the great San Joaquin Valley, all these aspects of uh, California, I mean, of uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Colorado, they all uh, settled there in San Joaquin Valley, and I was born there. So I was raised with this um, culture, there's certain types of songs, certain types of sayings, uh, food, etc. So that's why I speak a certain way, <laughs> have certain expressions that are from that area. So that explains that. But I would like to give you a little quiz now. I'm going to say an expression and, uh, that I'm familiar with and I've used many times. And I'm curious if you're going to, I'll say the first half. I'm curious if you know the second half. Okay, here goes. I was as nervous as a worm. Do you know what it is? It goes this way. I was as curious, uh, I was as nervous as a worm in a chicken pen. 
That was very common. Another one. Oh, I was so nervous, uptight. I felt like a long-tailed cat. Do you know the rest of it? I felt like a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> Here's one. Well, as the monkey said when he got his tail caught in the door, you know what he said? Well, as the monkey said when he got his tail caught in the door, it won't be long now. That's like when you're waiting for something. It won't take a very long time to do something. How about this one? I, would, I wouldn't trust him as far as... I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. How about this one? Man, when I was late, I come home from, uh, from school late, my dad jumped on me like a hawk. Do you know? He jumped on me like a hawk on a June bug. <laughs> Uh, I'm very curious if uh, my uh, fellow Americans and any other country for, as far as that goes have similar or exactly the same expressions. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. This is kind of a fun little uh, video. Hope it's not too long. I can't tell what time it is. But oh, and I'll just mention you, yeah, I got a background here because uh, the bookshelf's kind of messy, and so I just threw a sheet up there. I hope it's clean. <laughs> Glorious as it is. All right, talk to you later. Bye.